Um, you know what? We, uh, we started off a little slow. Uh, the team needed to adjust to the speed of uh, Bowling Green, but then uh, once we started going, the third period started going well, and we started putting pucks in the net. And, you know, for our team, that's a really good thing. And seeing that two games in a row now, it's really good. Two games in a row, you guys get a, some power play goals. How, how important is that? Uh, that's huge. Yeah, I mean, we didn't get very many five on five lately, so to have our power play contribute, that's uh, that's what we need. But luckily, we had some five on five play, so it was nice to see. Did you guys talk to Dahlstrom at all? I mean, it seems like they were kind of crashing into the net quite a bit. Uh, did he say anything during the game, or? Uh, you know what? He didn't say anything. He's uh, he's feeling good, and you know we just got to start going and doing that to their goalie, right? We got to start getting into their face and start crashing and banging around their net, and that's what happened today in the third period, and we started getting getting goals out of it. Yeah, more more and more physical as the game went on. What do you expect for tomorrow? Probably about the same thing. I mean, it's pretty back and forth. Um, seemed like every time we got it in their zone, they would come out four on two right back at us. So I think tomorrow's gonna be the same thing, but I think we have to control down low a lot more and uh, yeah, keep the puck in their zone more. You were about three minutes away from letting this one slip away from you guys. It was still a tie, but what's the mindset of being able to get that single point there? Good, you know, uh, once we once we get down to the nitty gritty, you know, you got to put the puck in the net, and when uh, time push comes to shove, the boys are going, so can't complain. Uh, you know what? I was just putting pucks in the net. Um, they ended up going in, so it was some nice bounces, and hopefully we see that again tomorrow. Well, I think it's fortunate. I mean, when you get in the third period and you're chasing the rabbit and you're down by a goal, I think it's always fortunate when you're able to to come back and get a point. I think in the second period they took it to us pretty good and outshot. I didn't look at the shots, but I'm assuming that's where they came. Um, it wasn't unexpected. I mean, you know, I think I said it during the week. I think this is this is the tough this is the tough weekend on the Alaska trip. And Friday night's the tougher night. It's just one of those deals. You're just mentally fatigued and you can't, you know, everything you do, it seems like you're, you're tired and you're chasing, you're not winning races to pucks. And, um, I give Bowling Green a lot of credit. I think they played really well. I think, you know, we were fortunate to, um, tie the game and get the points, but I thought we were a little better as the game went on. But again, we'll have to, I give our guys credit. They won a third period when they were tired and that's indicative of the character I think we have. Talk about Dalston tonight. How do you think Played overall. I mean, we, we, we let Dalston down big time. I mean, we we let him down tonight. We let him down tonight in Alaska. Um, you know, we, 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 you can't get 41 shots. You know, give Bowling Green credit for generating that, but, but you can't do that. You have to be much more committed and much better than And we have. And we, we, that's one thing we'll have to talk about tomorrow. A couple of guys that aren't typically scorers, like Sammy got on the score sheet tonight. Well, oh, we like Sammy to get on the score sheet. Sammy's capable of getting on the score sheet. And if Sammy works and competes like he did tonight, he made he scored a big time goal where he beat a guy, and then he made a big time play behind the net on Brock's goal. And uh, we need him to contribute. It's it's one of those deals we've struggled to to produce offense. He's a guy that we'd like to have be involved. John Seymour is a guy we'd like to have be involved. And we need those guys to start showing up on a, on a semi regular basis right now. So I give Sammy credit. I thought he did a good job. But I'm also going to tell you. Uh, Perper on that line had an outstanding night. Rose had an outstanding like that line was a good line tonight. Um, they started the game at the, as a fourth line and they quickly moved into a third line role. And I thought they I give them a lot of credit tonight. It seemed like, like they were go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Well, it seemed like they were kind of crashing into Dalton quite a bit. How do we stop that? Well, that's, I, that's what I mean. We we didn't we didn't do our job near the front of our net. And the and the game that we lost, in one of the games that we lost in Alaska, we didn't do our job in front of the net. And, you know, we have to win that ice, and, um, and we, have to, we have to be much more aware of that tomorrow.